Girl 1969. I am way excited today because I'm trying a new product. This is from Urban Decay and it's called the Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. I'll see if I can show you this without too much reflection. This just came out from Urban Decay. Actually, Sephora.com just started carrying it that I noticed this week, and so I ordered this right away. I'm still on the, hand, the lookout for a great sunscreen. This is SPF 20, which is awesome. It's light. It's the lightest shade that was on both Urban Decay and Sephora.com. Uh, there's six different shades to choose from, and this just sounds like a great product. It's supposed to be a one and done sheer foundation it has oh peptides vitamins and moisturizers in it it has light diffusing spheres and it says over time that your pores will appear smaller and skin appears noticeably firmer and more radiant Woohoo! for somebody with maturing skin this sounds really great so right now i'm getting ready to go to work i have prepped my face with my moisturizers i I did not put any type of primer on my face except I did put the professional benefit on my nose because I always need that. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and apply this. I'm not sure if I'm going to need something else over it. If I do, I brought my Urban Decay powder foundation. It's the Naked Skin Ultra Definition. So I might have to put that on, but we'll see. I have not tried this yet. So this is the first time for both you and I. I brought a brush out here and my dampened beauty blender because I don't know which will work the best and we're just going to try this out and I will kind of give you then my first impressions on this. I will check back at the end of my work day. This needs to be primed. Get it primed and so let's squirt some out. There it is, the light. Because we know I need light. Sometimes light is too dark for me. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see my putting this on. Okay. I do have another little mirror just below my camera. So I'm kind of looking in that too. I don't know if you can see. I've got some hyperpigmentation going on. Freckles and that kind of thing. Probably should have tied my hair back. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. All right, I'm going to use this flat kabuki brush, and it's and I think Beautylish or Beauty Junkies, one of those. Probably Beauty Junkies. Okay, so far I'm not liking how the brush is doing this, and this seems like a extremely light, extremely light coverage. So this maybe is not a one and done for me. We'll see. I'm not done yet. I think I'll put another coat using the Beauty Blender. Change the color, the lighting setting on my camera so that you can see my complexion better. Now my walls in my room look very yellow, which they don't. They're more of a mustard color in real life. But I think you can actually see my complexion better with this setting. So we're going to go for this setting and see what we can show you. A little hair in there. Okay, here's the Beauty Blender. This is the black one. I have a black one and a pink one. Something that said the black was for a certain type of makeup in the and the blue, the pink was for a certain type of makeup, and I just don't don't follow that. Okay, so now this looks better. I have a little bit of a blemish right here. Let's see if I can get that covered up a little better. Okay, so this is still a really pretty light coverage. I think that if you have redness, it may not cover it. I have a little redness, but today my skin was looking pretty good. Hmm. I definitely need some finishing powder over this. This does say that it has a luminous, uh, that it has a luminous finish to it, which I I would agree it does. On me, it does. Okay. Well, this is the one and done. 
I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup, meaning my cheek color, my lip color, and my finishing powder, and I will be right back. I'm back. You know what? I realize I didn't do a great job of describing what this product feels like. It's actually rather thin. It feels very smooth on the skin. It feels very lightweight, moisturizing. It actually feels really, really good. So that part of it I really like. I could see that perhaps this is thin enough and sheer enough that it could be used as your sunscreen underneath one of your foundations. And then maybe on a day when you don't want to wear a full face of makeup foundation that you could wear this and get by with, you know, kind of evening out your skin tone without a lot of coverage. Hope that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to go to work now and then I'll check back with you later and let you know how this performed for me. Before I go, I do want to add that I did not put any foundations, any more foundation type products on top of the one and done. All that I applied was my yellow powder by Besame. That's it. So really the one and done is my foundation for today. We shall see how that goes. I have to tell you, I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, I'm back from work. It's about 20 minutes till 6, so it's been an, a long day. I had left the house somewhere around 8.30, I believe. And so, look at this. I have to say, they characterized this as possibly a sheer foundation. And that word sheer, I think, is accurate. Because it's not even a light foundation. It is definitely sheer. When I got outside and looked at myself in the mirror, in the, in the sunlight, um, it looked almost like I didn't have any makeup on. I wasn't loving that too much. So I would have to say the one and done is probably only one and done if you're in your 20s and you have perfect skin because it really is not going to cover any imperfections. You know, I'll see over time, it says that it improves your skin over time. And I actually like it a lot. I think that I will prefer to have it as a sunscreen underneath my other foundation. And then maybe it'll improve my skin as I wear it too. That would be awesome to be ha to have smaller pores and you know nicer, smoother skin even. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to blot some of this oil. I'm getting ready to go somewhere, and I'm going to put some of my Urban Decay powder foundation that looks like this on over over the one and done. Yeah, I felt like at work, um, when I looked at the bright sunlight, I thought, ooh, I look like I have some dark circles up in here, at least darkness in the corners. And so I did take a little foundation that I had in my desk and put some there to try to lighten that up. But this one and done feels really nice, really lightweight, and the shininess of it doesn't surprise me because everything, I always have shine breakthrough with everything. So that I'm not worried about. I just powder and that's it. Okay. That didn't take much. I like this product. I just wouldn't say that it's something that I would wear as a foundation. So those of us who are mature can know that yes, it'll work for our skin, but we'll probably have to wear something else over it. Everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my first impression of the Urban Decay One and Done. Oh, I want to mention before I go, I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers. So if you like watching my videos and you haven't pressed the subscribe button, please press that. So thanks again, and I will talk to you all really soon.